they got you an old foreign front you know what you want uh, some local dish you prefer some intercontinental bit it's something special something that will take you back like uh, fish a la portuguese <laughs> okay stuff like that they got you if you want a nightlife in cape because you already know it is whispers person done other every single time you want to step out at night that's the place to go and then you want to go with your friends and family it's the best joint to really have some fun right there. You can find them at uh, Sudu Jester on the Junction to Master Sam. Uh, for details, you want to call 055 800 0040 As you get that, you can get on with it. So, once again, I'd like to know, talking to go get them, Adam. In a minute. <laughs> you ready? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, Before we do that, your health is so important. And yeah, uh, we are hoping that this year you have done your general health checkup. You haven't done your annual bed. Please, you still have some time to go. Before the year ends, there is a 20% discount uh, from uh, DIS Clinic. You want to go there, they'll sort you out. Yes, doctors in service as they make it happen. And so once you sort that out, uh, you are good to go. 055 If you want more inquiries on check it out for your eye, heart, lungs, kidney, liver, all that available. Okay, but like I we told you earlier on, the conversation is on. We talking to the man. Go get him. Get him up. Music is on, and uh, we having this conversation real quick. Good afternoon, Adam. <laughs> Good afternoon. How are you doing? I'm well, bro. Uh, how are you doing yourself? I'm greater than I cry now. <laughs> <laughs> Boss, <my homie. laughs> greater than I cry right now. Uh, so that 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 is great wow that's a bus right there anyway good to know that we are in the central region Cape Coast. but first of all let's start from uh, the basis have you ever been to Cape Coast for business before i mean you know show or something Cape Coast. Cape Coast? yes yeah multiple times ah oh. yeah multiple times i've been to Cape Coast. um i've even been to salt pond oh um, there's the last Apache. I was back in Cape Coast nice. doing something uh, with level three. Oh yeah, I remember but, that. Yes, 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 yeah, yes, yes, I, yes. And yes. I have a big, um, and I have a big uh, family house in Cape Coast, which is close to the ship house. So sometimes I even come to Cape Coast unofficially. Wait, you're kidding? You have a family house in Cape Coast? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I say I have a family house in Cape Coast that is close to the ship house. Oh my God, this is crazy. Never heard this before. I thought you were full yeah. Volta base and had nothing yeah, to do with it. Sometimes I'll come to Elmina and stay for a couple of days and then come back to Accra. Oh, it's not wow. always you know, official. Oh, yeah. nice. All right, from now, we're making it official as well. I beg, whenever you're in town to visit family, make us part of family. Pass by Assassin's Radio. Let's do something. It just, no, it, no, it just for the love of it. Down. Definitely. Of course, <laughs> even, um, Central Region even raised a concern that. I rectified. I think the last time I was there for the festival, mm -hmm. uh, they were telling me, we love your songs here. Uh, why haven't you done anything with the Fante artist? And I'm like, I've done some stuff with Tish Lo from the past. Yes, yes, right? yes, I've yes, done yes, some yes. stuff with, with Carl. So when I came back to Accra, I just wrapped up a collaboration with Kenata. Oh. And Pamela, it's going to be crazy. Oh, nice. So <laughs> it's, 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 still, it's still in the studio? It's still cooking? No, 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 no! It's out of the studio. Which <laughs> hold on, let me check it out again. Is that yourself and who? Myself, Kenata, and Famia. Oh yes, Adam, Famia, and then Kenata on one tune. That that that's that's what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, we we're gonna be having this conversation on various things. Uh, of course, I'm gonna start off with your new song. That is, I'm using the title to start off some few questions. We don't really care. Let's start from there. <laughs> what exactly don't really care now let's start with the uh, music as a stance we don't really care that uh, the grammys are on you know nominees are out and it's all basically nigerian category when it goes to the afro pop is that what we don't really care about <laughs> no this is a good question but that's not <laughs> what we don't care about <laughs> um we don't care about the fact that people are forming opinion 
that because Ghana is not Jamal, Ghana is not doing the right music. Mm. I think a lot of people are ignorant about how these things work, you know. And so sometimes they just talk. Uh, when you get to get closer to it, you will understand that it's not just what you see with the eye. It, it takes a lot mm. of marketing, a lot of PR, a lot of partnership, a lot of label push, um, a lot of global reach sometimes. And so I don't think that, uh, it, that we don't really care about it, but I think every Ghanaian artist is doing their best. And when it is time for people to, to get in those spaces, definitely people yeah. get in those spaces. Once upon a time, Africans weren't even nominated. Exactly. We didn't need to say it's because our music wasn't good. Yeah. It was because we weren't at that level yet. Yeah. Questions have come up. Like, uh, like uh, I think your angle you're, you're, you're taking may send me there uh, some way or the other. Um, that it's not really exactly about the music you're making, but the resources. We need money. Uh, or do we need a link in there? Oh, actually, you know me. Oh, I did here. I beg. This year dominates me. Oh, is that it? What we're we waiting for? To have a link in there? Or we need some oh, money no. to push it somewhere? How does it work? Oh, I don't think that Ghana music. I don't think that Grammy is um, some uh, regional award that mm. it's about links or who you know. It's not those type of family and friends awards. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I mean, we are not high up there, but there's always politics around everything. But we think that it's a highly reputable scheme. And I am sure that sometimes it goes beyond that. But even if we put that aside, those who are being nominated really, really deserve it because mm. they are globally more known. They put their foot forward. And that is why majority of them are Nigerians because Nigerians are in the conversation on a global scale than Ghanaians. That's the truth. True. True. Yeah, that, that's not mm. a lie. They yeah. have they have the global attention. They Most of them have more labels behind them. Most of them have done bigger collaborations. And so, mm. uh, even though I don't know the nine yards of what is required, yeah. uh, you can still tell that they, they deserve it. Okay. So, I didn't pull the question out of a thin air, actually. It was, it was based, I think, the, was it two years ago or three years ago, the very first time um, Burner Boy got nominated, I remember something came up. Kanye West said that you got or you won your award because I produced your album. And oh, you that statement. The video. Uh, I think it was better. Uh, probably yeah, cross check mean, again. Say, yes, P D D. Yes, yes. He made a statement that he won. He got into the Grammys and won it because he actually was the producer of the songs and all that. That's why I'm thinking. Ah, is there really a connection? Because P D D did it. Yeah, hey, let's dominate the song. Is there okay, really the so, vibe? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So what I also heard mm -hmm. is that did it? Did he came out to say he didn't say that? Uh, right. Okay. okay, but however. However, who you work with is also important. Okay. Because for me to be able to break out, I work with Hammer. Mm. Mm. Right? He had nothing to do with awards. True. He had everything to do with his reputation and what he has built over the years. So I believe that sometimes working with a Grammy winning producer is, is, is a good idea mm. if you want to if you want to be looked at. True. You know? True. Yeah, so right. uh, maybe we don't know too much, so it might not be the whole factor. But I'm sure working with the right producers is also important. A part of it. All right, now talking about good music and knowing that Ghana is also producing good music. Um, what is actually with the rap now? And that basically, it looks like we seem to want to do a more singing. Is it the timing? Is it that we are going with the flow? Or is it really a conversation people are bringing that the rap game is actually dying out in Ghana? Is that it? Uh, what exactly is it? Because, for instance, uh, what, um, uh, what do you call it? The VGMA Rapper of the Year, for instance, um, is now out. One of the popular songs is actually a singing song. I think, um, what is the name of that song again? A quick one and say. And that is it. It's singing. And this is the, the, the best rapper we have in terms of the calendar year that we had last year. Is is there something happening with rap? That's why we are all switching to singing, or it's just a, I don't know. I don't get it. You are in there. Would you want to enlighten us on it? Why most of you are singing now? 
Um, I don't know about other people, but I've always been a singer and a rapper. Uh, that is why I'll do a song like Get to a Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I'll do a song like Go Harder. Mm. And then I'll do a rap song like Hey Ba. Mm. Uh, but as a business and as people who are going global and how things are, um, you would want to make sure that you stay relevant and you also stay artistic at the same time, right? Mm. Now, even let's forget about radio. There is no playlist for Africa that has a category for rap songs, does it? Either on Spotify or Apple mm. Music. There's no playlist. Mm. So let me say if you release a rap song right now, a proper rap song, not a sing-along rap song, yeah. how would you be playlisted for you to get the mileage? Would you be put into Afrobeat Top and Red? Wow. You might not be put there. Yeah. And when we even move from that side, how many radio stations play rap music? Mm. We can mention all the songs through our history that have been very big. People have mentioned all the Dabilumbe, Samachi De Day, Ophiri and Ponsan. <laughs> so, yes, Afrobeat is something and singing is something that is called to us as a people. That mm. is why there's no single tribe in Ghana that doesn't have their own melodies. Fantasies have their own melodies. Northerners, when they are festivals, they're always singing. If yeah. you are doing drama, everybody is singing. True. And so it's a core of who we are. But because it's a business and you want to also stay relevant, you have to do it. But all I say is that you have to do what you are good at. Mm. True. So if you think it's rap that you are good at, find a way to balance it and make it work for you. If you think you can sing and you can also rap, find a way to balance it. But also, because a lot of nightclubs don't even play rap songs anymore. Mm. Even if I, if an artist does a rap song, how many people will know he has? Because okay. Satawale released a full dance or a full rap EP, didn't he? Yeah, it is. And I have released a couple of rap songs. True. But it might not be on mainstream radio. True. So the core fans will know it but maybe the masses will not know it. Mm. Okay. Uh, that that definitely makes a lot of sense in here. Um, that also get me to throw back a again onto the other bit. Um, is, is it that probably people like Hammer and Cole, like, you know, Hammer was known for proper, you know, rap beats production and all that in that sense. Uh, people like that retiring from the industry, is it affecting rap? I don't think Timberland is still producing, but they are new producers. Mm. Dr. Dre might still be producing, but they are new producers. And so I'm sure that if Hama is, is back in the studio now and he wants to drop a song and he decides to drop an Hama piano, it will still be <laughs> with a Hama influence, yeah. with heavy drums and with his style. Yeah. And maybe somebody can rap over it and sing over it. So I don't think that he not being active is the reason why a lot of people are not rapping. The artists will always decide what mm. they want to do. Well, uh, I'm saying the, that because his time, his songs were sang in the club and the hip hop you're talking about. You, you came out with that crank with, of course, your main introduction, and them and it was at every club you go. It was, you know, and have a lot of other hammer produced hip hop like that that managed to make their way to the clubs. That's why I was coming from that angle, though. Yeah, but that is only because that was a crank era, right? Okay. So when there was a drill era, a lot of Ghana boys were doing the, the, drill, right? Yes. Saka boys, and radio yeah. was playing it. I, I also did drill songs. I yeah. did um, Wolves, you know, which is a drill record. Mm. But I'm saying that if the era is not there, and the thing about Ghana radio is that it's not segmented. True. In the US, we have R&B radio, we have pop radio, we have hip-hop radio. So, mm. so if there's a hip hop radio and you want to listen to hip hop, you tune in and you listen the whole day. But oh. in Ghana, all the radio stations play the same music. So if it is time for the radio stations and all they are playing is Afrobeat and Highlight. If you're a young artist and you want to emerge and you do hip hop, you might you might not see the light of day. Mm. Right. Of course, there has to be something you are good at. True. True. Uh, now let's let's just move on and get closer to you as as an individual as a person. 
and uh, we're here and then we heard that uh, some good news of course um rapper adam hotel has uh, been officially unveiled as the volta brand ambassador for this year's volta trade investment fair tell us about it how did that happen i was there and i got a letter <laughs> <laughs> oh your good works just received it you. and then I you got it there and I got, yeah i was there and i got a letter mm. um to to just be more formal in promoting my region and the country because whether you like it or not the region is in the country yeah so no matter how you promote the region you are also driving the country um, yeah it's the country and i think that it would be nice for the central region to have um i know somebody an ambassador maybe the ashanti region we are just creative people who are proud of who we are both our regions and ghana and so we go around pushing and trying to do stuff and trying to support and trying to create platforms and also this time around it's going to also just put more responsibility on me to be able to continue to contribute to to the region and and promote the volta fair most importantly which is um, a fair that is designed to promote businesses and investment in the region mm, great uh indeed that works in that sense and with you and the volta region of course ever since the volta regime volta that it, it has been on and so you've always uh made it something that you're going to do and promote the region so this is just uh, uh just an avenue now i'm going on to um what questions that people are asking and they want us to get you on with it so okay so this one uh from the other says that um so we are live on facebook and this came from facebook it says that okay. please ask adam if he is giving one million dollars in exchange for a cut of his dreadlocks <laughs> will he accept a go ahead or not i love his craft though <laughs> if, if i'm giving one million for what to cut your dreads but i already cut my dreads <laughs> this year people just didn't know oh you did yeah <laughs> wow then i haven't you, you did a photo shoot for that because i haven't seen that no uh, no i didn't do a photo shoot but i cut my 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 dress oh because wow because the thing is that you can cut it put it down grow an afro and lock it all back but why you just want to start afresh is it a rebranding what is what, what caused it no sometimes you you the hair becomes very long and heavy and you want to just yeah you know, have a little so you once you grow the hair you can keep it oh, and anytime okay. you lock it you don't have to start all over from scratch oh okay can you use the old one and just rejoin yeah it? you can use the old one that is why ah. people even grow their locks people even grow their locks and sell it right oh in, okay in south africa right yeah so for the person that maybe next year i'll cut it and show it to the whole country <laughs> <laughs> i guess that could work all right let me get this one uh, this one came through from uh whatsapp and uh this is what the listener is asking let me okay, two questions oh, okay so first it says that um why does or why do you create political pressure on social media in the past year we saw posters suggested uh you were running for parliamentary elections on the tickets of both parties what was that for and what, what what actually did you to do that those both 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 parties are invited to continue to enjoy my music <laughs> <laughs> but does it actually mean that you have no plans of starting for parliamentary and we're just testing which party will really work for you is that not it oh no i mean i i think i ended by telling everybody it was a social experiment and so Mm. we did it and we left it at that yeah sometimes sometimes people over worry about things they should just life is mm. easy just mm. be sometimes life is simple yeah Charlie. Yeah, because we at that time we are not the hit of the moment. That was the answer I took it. I'm asking again because maybe now how uh got down a bit and you want to be honest with us. Oh, we wanted to test the what test which party because you may have plans of standing for MP in the next four years. You know, uh your people, a uh, lot of people ahead of you um have uh, no problem ahead. Okay, well, in terms of politics or boy and yeah. they have all switched. Mm -hmm. And so probably you were thinking and you are testing the waters to see whether Guardians will accept it or not. But oh, if you no, say I don't think that if I if you're an artist or if you are any human being and you decide to do politics, 
Mm. Uh, putting a poster online is what you make it test the water. I've seen people who have been praised online that they will win if they've got one vote. <laughs> so, so how can yeah, I, delegate. Yeah, so how can I think that putting a poster will let me know what people are thinking? No. Okay. What people are, the, the political terrain, I'm not a politician, but I know it's a different place. Mm. So I don't think that a Facebook post will let you determine if people are voting you or not. Yeah. True. It has to do with your work in your community and impacting the people and the people saying that you can lead them and you can bring some some change to them. Okay. Um, another one uh, coming from Hamda it says that looking at <laughs> no, no, Nigeria here. But anyway, looking at what Nigeria has done with music with respect to their presence at the World Cup, Champions League, Ballon d'Or, and Kings, uh, King of England's coronation, does uh, do you think or believe that unpopular language or the barrier of language limited uh, your ability or other Ghanaians, for instance, ability to really gain more recognition? Is the language really an issue? Because they're just usually singing in PG or English and all. But, but Burner Boy, City Boy has a language that nobody understands today. Mm. And um, um, Asake also has songs that he sings his language that Ghanaians sing. So I think it's about marketing and promotion and uh, management teams and, and positioning. Mm, you know? True. They are looking for, yeah, they are looking for artists who are, are global enough in their eye view to be able to perform and they they went for those people so all that means we have to do is continue to push okay and we are we are all pushing yeah i have this message from one of the management of an artist one of the biggest artists in central region now he's actually the central vocal male vocalist of the year uh yes and writes that with deep admiration for adam's exceptional artistry and immense respect for his accomplishment i humbly propose a collaboration opportunity for Yao black central's best male vocalist and if there is a chance to support central artists on his current adam fest show i have already done an open verse Okay. So we don't really care. And yeah. there's a central region artist already who made it. And oh. it's going to come out next week. Oh, really? Yes. And I'll just leave that until it comes out next week. Oh, wow. A central artist won. <laughs> but the name is not out yet, is it? No, the name is not out yet. I was with him in the studio. Uh, we even shot an open verse uh, uh, content video, which which will come out. Okay. But anyway, yeah, how... Got some, uh -huh. have some really good fancy on them. Oh wow. Nice. Yeah. Nice. But how's the song doing for where you sit? Uh the response has been um amazing for we don't really care. Um I know that there's a lot of play we also get in the central region. Um but Accra has been responding uh, very uh crazily. Mm. And now the way the music business is, you always have to continue to put the music in the front of the conversation. So it feels good to be back. I've been off the radar not to be yeah. Yeah. a lot of music. So it feels good to be back and then have all this amazing support and and have the fans still have the same energy. So big up to the fans, man. Nice one. So finally, we don't really care about the economy and how things are going now. It depends on where you sit. There are people who care. There are people who are enjoying who they don't care. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I remember I met some high-profile people. And then one person made a statement that this riot that they are going, they are supposed to be on your balcony, open champagne and be singing we don't really care what they are going on the riot. <laughs> because life is good. Charlie. And then I've also seen somebody... Um, um, tweet that this is the wrong song I released for Akufado in December <laughs> because you really care. So people have all types of opinions, but I don't think that okay. um, the song is about the economy. It's for people to celebrate and have fun, no matter what they're going through. 
Yeah, uh, that's a good one. Now we're done. We're leaving this one to you. I know you're people of Cape Coast listening in Central Region. We are live on Facebook as well, so the world at large is paying attention to you. What would you say to us? Um, my love for Cape Coast is through the roof. Everybody who is close to me knows that my favorite language that I wish I would know is Fante. <laughs> Every time I get a chance, I will put a little line of Fante in either me and Papi Kojo's song. Wow. or somebody saying i love it every time mm. i appreciate and love cape coast we are planning on coming to cape coast for a we don't really care media run so definitely uh when we are coming we'll also like to um activate uh with some promoters on the ground sure and we appreciate the love uh that cape coast always gives the last time i was um there for the festival the love and the energy everywhere we're driving through the city was it was my love so my love to everybody in cape coast nice one. and don't forget to join the we don't really care challenge on tiktok <laughs> anyway yes sir, we're gonna get all the i don't know with all the songs you do my favorite though will always be the one you had uh, raquel on its girlfriend i don't know it hits me yeah, differently it, anytime it, no i mean it probably is because of the kind of things you do to your girlfriend <laughs> <laughs> oh really <laughs> 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 that's a good one brother Charlie thank you very much for, for making thank time you, for us we you. do appreciate you go, go get him yeah, yeah man okay so that's it for the man on there do appreciate it yes 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 go get him get him more music was on it and it was a good conversation hey alright so let me just get these messages before we go well this one says that uh, I'm Black Angel watching you live from US. You're doing a great job. Uh, they will call her. Oh, okay. He says that Nigeria they play. Nigeria they play. <laughs> and another one says that um, lovely interview. I'm a fan of Adam. Oh, okay, great. Uh, Philip Curtis Mensa says that go get them. Uh, Philip Curtis Mensa again says I wish Adam will be the musical president uh, from Black Angel. Oh, what to? Oh, okay. The musical president. Yeah. Well, Philip Curtis Smith again says that he get good vibes. He didn't hear good vibes. We don't really care. Let's get to enjoy these tunes. We pay compliments to our sponsors. We'll be back with more. Enjoy. Your, your true music destination, Assassin Radio.